time for I know it's a little bit late, so this could probably be kind of March favorites too, but I wanted to show you a bunch of random things. If you like these kinds of videos, please give this one a thumbs up and leave any comments below. Let's get right to it. These are some products that I've been using. This is my bathroom cabinet. This is Pixie's Glow Tonic. I had heard about this stuff before, and I'm using it as my toner, and I've been using it for about two months now and I am obsessed. So the bottle's about halfway gone, but I love it. I love the way my skin feels. It feels so tight and clean and this is working really well for me. Another favorite is this natural deodorant. So I've been wanting to try something natural, but I haven't found one that does its job. So in other words, I've seen and tried natural deodorants before, but unfortunately they actually make me smell worse than if I just didn't wear anything at all. And I wanted to move towards something that was better for you without the aluminum in it. And this is the winner, Schmidt's Natural Deodorant in Bergamot Lime. It smells good, there's a little residue, sorry that's kind of gross. But this is what I have been using and so far it's been great. I will test it out for spring and let you know how it does with warmer temperatures. And this Derma E Purifying Gel Cleanser, it's the activated charcoal one. I love the way this feels. And this is the cleanser that I've been using. I try to use it once a day at least. And um, it is one of those cleansers that goes on, you can see it working because it's black or gray, and it feels so good, and my skin feels amazing after I wash using this. One other thing that I wanna point out because everybody always asks, um, what nail color I'm using. I'm obsessed with this Orly Breathable Treatment in color. It's the color that I have on my nails right now. The last time I put it on, I actually got a manicure at a little PR studio, a uh, fashion PR company in LA, and they had the girl put this on me, and it stayed for eight days without chipping. Eight days. So I just put this on now, and I'm going to see how long it lasts. And I did it myself, so I'm not sure, but what I love about it is that it's breathable, and it's treatment and color in one. So all I did was add two coats, and I hope that it lasts, and um, I just love this light gray color. Melina, you wanna say hi? All right, say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hello, yeah, look over here. See, everybody's over here. Apple's over there, but look over here. Look right here. Do, 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 do. Who's that right there? <laughs> Who's that sweet thing? This is Melina. My mom babysits her and she is the sweetest thing. Mwah. Good thing I just kissed you because I'm going to put on these lip scents. All right? Okay. This is Lip Sense Napa. My first time using it. Okay, it says to put it on one direction. I don't know how to do that. And it says not to rub your lips together, which is really hard for me. And it says wait five to 10 seconds between coats. Apply in one direction, beginning with the outside corner of the mouth. Now time for the gloss. All right, we're done. Melina says hi. I wonder if I could kiss her without planting one on her or making a mark. Should we try it? Mwah. Yeah, nothing. Lip sense. We like it. I've been reading this book, Essentialism, and I am definitely obsessed with the theories that he shares and how there's so much in life that we try to cram in, but it's really important to hone in on the things that are essential to making our lives better. So I highly recommend this book. Jack actually moved into a big boy bed a couple months ago and it's a race car bed by Step 2 and he is obsessed with it. He loves it so much. We recently got him this toddler pillow as well because he didn't usually sleep with a pillow before that. But we are so happy that he 
thinks that he still has to call us when he wakes up. So he doesn't actually get out of bed himself. And the dream big little one is still on his wall. We're planning on actually moving him out of this room pretty soon, but I might put a little shelf of cars up here or somewhere in the room. But I just wanted to show you his awesome big boy bed. Jack also got this kitchen helper that we love using because he enjoys helping us in the kitchen when we're cooking, mostly JC actually, but it's the perfect height and it's sturdy and he can get up himself and get back down. We love it. Hey buddy, look what I got you. Now what we need first. Let me see. I love that he enjoys doing crafts of all kinds, and this little project with the perler beads reminded me of when I was younger. I'm sure I wasn't three years old when I did this, but it's such a fun project, and we had such a great time putting it together. These UB products I got for Jack. He's so excited about them. Thank you, Mama. What did you get? What are you thanking me for? I'm oh. thinking about these. You were thinking about those and you got them? What else did you get? I was thinking about that and that. And do you love them? Yeah. Aw, yay. You got a fancy new haircut too. What is all colored on this? It says watercolor pad. What? And then this is an activity book. And these are colored pencils. Is this one a colored pencil or this one? Oh, you can use it on either, or this one you can use with your watercolors. And this your paints. One Remember your with, paints? And this one with my paints, and this one with my um, pencils. Okay, sounds good. Can I open them now? Sure, honey. Enjoy. We got these new Jonathan Adler coasters. I just love how beautiful they are, and of course functional too. They come in a set of four, and I kind of wish that I got two of these boxes, but I only got one. This is what they look like. JC's always loved fun socks, and Paul Smith has a sock subscription. It's a monthly service that I paid a year in advance for, and it is quite pricey, but the fact that he gets really cool socks every month makes his day and mine too. I had the pleasure of meeting Christine Heron in person for the first time at Adobe Max last year. You might remember my video from that San Diego conference that I attended. Anyway, we had so much fun just talking about our shared love for paper. She's been designing products for the paper industry for a while. At first she was doing stamp designs for Kelly Perky, and now she's got her own thing going. These are adorable little cards, and this whole kit is something that you can take with you and put business cards in to these little slots, and you can use the stamps and this little book, and I think it's just so well designed and awesome. My bullet journal obsession continues, and I will have an April plan with me up very shortly, in probably like two days actually, after this video, because I have been just loving this system so much. I like the fact that I can add color, or I can do grayscale. I've been working on cleaning my stamps too, because I've noticed that I have older ones that are just not in good shape. So stay tuned for that video. If you're in LA, you gotta check out this new wall by It's a Living. It's in Culver City at the Chinese Laundry Headquarters. It's gorgeous. I'd recommend, however, not going in the morning. In fact, go in the afternoon, late afternoon on the weekends so that you don't get this weird shadow. I have been also loving this color. It's called Pamper Me. This is sort of like a baby pink color. I think it's perfect for spring, summer. I would like it if it was slightly more white, but you know what? This looks great and it's kind of fun. All right, so thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Cutie pie.